briefing. It's happening live uh, in Tel Aviv from the Israeli health authorities about the captives, the Israeli captives who were released on Friday. Opportunity to be part of this process, to have those children coming home, and we hope that the rest will be coming home soon. I'm delighted to be part of this process. As I said, the children are in a very good physical condition. A large number of them are in a very good condition, but collectively speaking, they are in a very good physical condition. They have been subjected to a medical examination, and I believe that we are not worried at all once they have been examined. I also believe that this will be coming in, uh, in the coming days. Many of them wish to go back home. We have prepared to them uh, accommodations in order to be emotionally recover and also to physically recover. And I, we believe in a very few days they will be able to go back home. Yes. They have spoken to us, they have told emotional stories. Uh, fathers and mothers also talked to them, the children also spoke to us. We all shared these stories. This is really emotional, it is very difficult to listen. It is very difficult to describe the emotions that we were overwhelmed with. Now we're speaking in English. We arrived to Niger Medical Center. Uh, we were very excited from the first moment. Uh, we saw um, the kids and the parents, the hugs and the crying, and it was very, very exciting for all of us. Uh, they are in good condition, uh, and they are surrounded by our uh, multidisciplinary teams social workers, psychologists, nurses, and uh, uh, doctors. They are surrounded by the family, friends, and uh, it was, um, I think, the most exciting evening that I had since I started my career. And uh, we hope to see them all back and uh, to see them in good condition. Yes, please. Uh, they told us uh, some of their experience. We are listening. We are not uh, 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 ask a lot of questions, but they are telling us our, their stories, and we are listening, and we are exciting with them. Sometimes crying with them, but they can't uh, share these uh, stories. They are going to stay for uh, the next few days. They ask to uh, stay here because they are very, very. Uh, they feel here very um, uh, surrounded, and uh, we had very good atmosphere, calm atmosphere, uh, in our uh, hospital. And I think that it is going to take some few days. They went to sleep maybe around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and they slept for maybe 3 or 4 hours. They are very exciting, all of us, so they didn't sleep very well, but I think it will be better in the next few days. Thank you very much. Make sure to subscribe to a channel to the latest news from RDZ World News.